Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Switzerland, the most beautiful place on earth with the most crystal clear waters on earth, with the biggest mountains on earth, and probably the most expensive country on earth. Today, we're gonna explore around, see what they have in store. We're gonna go to the grocery store, number one, with Michaela. Hi. Out our little chalet, they call them here. Holy shit, there's a secret hiking trail. We're gonna go on that later and see what's up there. What do you think about this place, first impressions? My favorite place on earth. I think this is my favorite place on earth too. It's expensive. Sigurdsfjell. This is amazing. Everywhere here is genuinely perfect. Like from an objective view, this is like the perfect place on earth. This is like a little strip of heaven. I feel like I crashed this car on the way here and like woke up in heaven or something. But uh, yeah, it's like 80 degrees out here and we're fitted up in Gymshark Code Maxwell. What do you think about this fit? I Would see you, you in it every day and yep. you're, just, you're sexy. You know? Alright, let's give him a 360. I don't know if I'm filming right. If you saw I me out in the, the wild, would you approach me? If I saw you out in the wild, yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> The produce here is by far the highest quality I've ever seen anywhere. I think it I looks just so know. colorful. And like this was obviously made by somebody that lives here, like their yeah, grandma and her like, you it's know. It's so cute. See, look at these apples for instance. Like, try to find one that doesn't look amazing that you wouldn't eat. You can't. These eggs are being taxed. Four tenths of the cheapest one. Is not a dozen like America, it's ten of them. So, all in all for these two bags, how much? So for all of this food, it was approximately 61 francs, AKA 70-ish US dollars, a little bit less. This is literally a couple of fucking objects, but we're in the middle of Switzerland, we're on a mm -hmm. lake. Listening to birds sing, watching them fly, staring, fixed on their flight. Fuck! It's so big, guys. You get it out. How do I get it out? You want me to just hold it, and fucking get, <laughs> carry it out, bro? This is what. Like, what do I kill it with? This. Dude, you think this is gonna do shit? <laughs> you think that? You think that's gonna do shit to this guy? This fucking tank, bro. No, 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 no. That's gonna make him angry, babe. Wait, that's don't a fucking. You, oh my god. Don't you? It's a Japanese wasp, dude. This is one of those rare Japanese gigantic wasps. That's a whole dude. Like, look, he's got hair and everything. You got a full... Yeah, that's a fucking man. He's got a face bro. and shit. Look at him. He's the size of the handle. That little oh, fucking swatter would he's not do to get anything. Out. He's going the wrong... No, <laughs> hell no, dude. Oh. Guys, this is the biggest fucking singing creature I've ever seen in my life. You think that fucking Australian would handle I think it? No problem, too much dude. Pollution, dude. Because these bees are dead. These are fucking prehistoric times. Imagine it thawed out from the glaciers. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, <dude. laughs> Oh hell no! <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> I'm opening this door, letting it out. <laughs> oh, out the window! Out the window! Yes, 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 yes! yes, yes. Be free! Be fucking free, dude! You know what this is? This is a can of tuna. You guys know how much I love my tuna, but it's getting a little bit boring. I need like a view to eat it with, and this just doesn't suffice. So. We're gonna go on a little adventure and eat this can of tuna with what is probably the most gorgeous view on this planet, according to Michaela, so. Apparently it's an hour 30 walk, my phone says, but we have a gondola shortcut.
the most incredible place I've been, period. I think I say that about everywhere I go, but truly, I don't think anywhere will top this. Like, no matter where I go, no matter where I travel, no matter what planets I visit, yeah. nowhere is going to be more beautiful than this. When you visit the most beautiful place on Earth, like, what's the goal then? What do you do? Where do you go? That's why I keep coming back. Yep, I guess you just have to keep coming back, reliving the first time you've seen it. I just, I'm so glad I'm taking y'all with. You can hear the jingle of these cows. The tongue is so rough. Wow. No, you can't eat my thumb. <laughs> Look at this. My hand is just disgusting now. There's like hair and like, ugh. Incredible. This is the most incredible place I've ever been by far. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just give you guys a little tour here. So, look at this crystal clear glacier water which comes from up in those mountains. There's a waterfall way over there which runs from the top of that mountain where the snow is up there and feeds this crystal clear blue lake. So, I'm gonna get in it in a second. It's probably about zero degrees, but yeah, we have our little campsite here. He's got me walking everywhere. And you got me walking backwards to record you. <laughs> That is so cold. It's literally like taking an ice plunge. Ooh. Literally risking my life for the shot here. Well, here we are. The moment has come. Time to eat the tuna. I'm hungry, so we're gonna pop this bad boy open and start our feast. Oh no! I got tuna juice all over my tripod. Mmm. Look, it's fresh. Oh yes. I haven't eaten in a year, dude. Mmm. Mmm. Genuinely my fourth can of tuna in two days. No, four and a half, right? Like big can. Mmm. Well, I said the whole point of this was to eat the tuna with a view, so I'm gonna turn around and see you guys later.